Hello guys, and today I'll explain to you how to create a quake structure by using two st stack structures. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because some computer languages or computers themselves do not have an inborn quake um, structure that you can incorporate into your program, but they usually do have st stack structures. So you can create a quake by using two stacks. And stacks are um, LIFO type, meaning last in, first out. And that's what these symbols represent. So once an element enters a stack, um, it has to wait until the element that entered after him exit until it can exit himself. Quakes, on the other hand, are LIFO structures, meaning last in, first out structure. So I'm going to explain this to you now. Stacks work in this way. Um, we have a push and a pop operation. A push operation is when we add an element to a structure, so our stack or our quake. And pop uh, function is when we remove an element from our structure, be it stack or quake. So if we push an element into a stack, it go like this. So we just added element one to the stack through this symbol, over this symbol. If we add another element, it looked like this. So element one would move and element two would enter. If we try to pop an element from this stack, first we would get element two, and then we would get element one. So that would be the order of the stack structure. But if we were to use a quake structure, it'd be something like this. So we would push element one into our quake, and then we would push element two into our quake, and then if we were to pop an element from that quake, we would first get element one and then element two. So that is the significance because the order is reversed. But we have two stacks and we need to make a quake. So this is how this would work. We would push an element to our stack one. And every single time we push an element to our quake structure, we'll always push them to stack one. Now, let's say we push three elements onto our stack. If we want to pop an element from this structure, we will want to get element out, element one out, not element three. So my suggestion is, first you copy all the elements from stack one to stack two by using the push and pop functions. So you would um, pop the elements from stack one until stack one is empty and you would copy and you would pop them and you would push them sorry, to your stack two. So something like this. You would pop element three from stack one and you would push it onto stack two. You would do the same thing for element two and for element one, and you would get this. And then you would pop from stack two and you would get element one, which is what we need. Now, if you push another element, let's say you would push it to stack one again. So let's say we push stack 4 and stack 5. Now, if you want to pop an element, um, you would think, okay, I'm just going to copy all the elements from stack 1 to stack 2 and then pop from stack 2. But that won't work because what you would get is you would pop from stack 1, push to stack 2, so until stack 1 is empty, and then you would pop from stack 2 and you will get element 4, which is not what we need. We need element 2. So. I would put a if statement in this um, in this structure to check whether stack two is empty. And if stack two is not empty, then first I would perform pop functions from stack two. So if we perform a pop function, we will get element two. If we perform it again, we will get element three. Now, if we want to perform a pop function again, we check if the stack two is empty. We see that stack two is empty, so we pop from stack one push to stack 2, do the same thing from element 4 until stack 1 is empty, the way it is at the moment, and then we'll pop an element from stack 2, getting element 4. And since we only have one more element, let's just pop that one as well, and we will get element 5. And the other is element 1 through element 5 in an increasing order, which is the way we push them into our quake as well. So that will be a correct order and what we need. Okay, well, thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you and have a great day.